All right, guys, we've got a quick video for you today. I'm gonna measure some uh, band tension. We've got these monster bands here. They're 65 pounds. Got them off uh, Rogue Fitness website. Got this, $10 off Amazon. It's a fish scale. Now, if you're looking to figure out your, your uh, tension on your bands, this is probably the easiest and Most cheapest efficient. Yeah, way to do it. Um, bands here they're good for mobility good for stretching but if you use them like the way we use them for accessory work on your on your uh, powerlifting movements to overload this is uh, this is how you can figure out you know, how much you're adding uh, you know in your sticking points or whatnot yeah a lot of people uh, use these and they don't know what they're doing they don't know how much weight it's adding or how much weight it's decreasing so yeah. you definitely want to measure it and just be optimal while and it's going to be different bands. it's going to be different for everybody because exactly. of our leverages because of our heights uh, and of course how you set it up everyone's going to set up their uh, their band differently, but it's important that you always set it up the same, uh, in the exact training. same way at the same time, so you can replicate that amount, same amount of tension. Exactly. The next clip you're gonna see how we set up for uh, banded deadlifts, um, and then you can just transition that into squats as well. Um, so here it goes. Got everything all set up. We're gonna measure some tension. All right, so. There's some chalk gonna be on his legs, and that's basically where he locks out. Because everyone has different leverages, different heights. So we got a fish scale, and we're gonna measure the band tension up to the chalk mark, just above the chalk mark, to get an accurate reading of how much tension we got here. Right about there. Thirty-three. Yeah, about thirty-three. So Jake about thirty-five. Right. So it's gonna be a little different for everybody. Uh, the taller you are, obviously, the higher you pull, more tension. All right, Phil's gonna measure his. He has white shorts on so it's hard to tell but it's about an inch from his shirt line so we're gonna measure now is that about an inch yeah about uh, 30 say 32 it's 31.94 but we'll say 32 uh so you have total about 64 pounds right yeah 70 pounds for you and i have about 66 pounds on mine Thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you like this type of video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more tutorials on setting any kind of bench up, uh, banded, anything, uh, just let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys.